Okay, Algebra 1 students, we're here for Unit 1, Lesson 3 now. The lesson name is A Gallery of Data. We're going to be looking at collecting data. So, our lesson goal for today is, I can graphically represent the data I collected and critique the representation of others. As we talk about critique, what we're looking for is what is good about something and how to make it better. So as we dig into this, we want to review and or look into our vocabulary. Here we've got kind of both. So our review, we have three different um, graphs that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the main one that we'll be looking at is a dot plot, which is the basic number line with the data above it as dots. So here we had two values that were ones. So there's two dots over the one. We have a histogram. This is a little bit more complex. This is the same data as the dot plot, just put in a different form. So here we're going, we're counting by twos. So the bar shows all the numbers here between zero and two are all the numbers less than two. So we have two ones, so that one goes up two. From two to four is all the numbers between two and four, except the fours go the other side because it wants to be two and bigger, but less than four. So here we have one, two, we have three threes, so there's four, five, six, three and a halves, it looks like. So that's why this box goes up to six. We'll dig deeper into that one. That one's a little confusing. And then we have our box plot. Again, same data. Our box plot is made up of the five number summary that you learned when you were younger, which is the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. So the min and the max, or minimum and maximum, are the easy ones here. The median is the middle. So the middle of this data is where the median goes. Then if you split the data into two halves, the first quartile and third quartile are the middles of each half. We'll dig deeper into that and remind ourselves where that comes from. Then our vocabulary today is distribution how many of each value or each category are in the data. So an example is, in this spot, there are two ones. So that would be the distribution. In this category of zero to two, there are two uh, values there. All right, and the big part that I need you to do before class, our warm up this time is known as a notice and wonder. So I have two graphs here both dot plots. I want you to take a good look at both graphs, and then I need you to write down four things. First two things are, what are two things you notice about the dot plots? So these are things you look at and you go, oh, these are things that are the same, or oh, I notice that these are different. Then I need you to write down two things you wonder about the dot plots. These are questions you have. Oh, I I don't know what this means. Can you tell me more? So I need two things that strike you, either similar or different, about the two graphs, and then two questions you have that the graphs make you want to dig deeper into. Please bring those tomorrow for class. Thank you. Have a good day.